Okay, so I want to share with you guys. Um, oh, by the way, what's going on with y'all? I just wanted to come up on here and just share this dream that I had about two months ago. I don't know what day it was, but all I know was is that it was sometime in August. So, you know, I've been, you know, pushing this video off or pushing this dream to the side for about two months now. But right now, I just know I need to be obedient because I can't go another, you know, week or month or whatever without, you know, getting this, you know, out to you guys. So, you know, guys, I had this dream. And in this dream, it first started off in this dream, all I remember was hearing the voice of the Lord. And I remember hearing the Lord telling me not to eat sushi. Hold up, y'all. I'm about to explain. But not also did I hear sushi. But in my dream, I heard these two words clear as day. And the two words that I heard was strange meats. In the dream, I didn't know what the Lord was saying, but I just obeyed anyways. After this, I remember me walking in my neighborhood and I remember, you know, it was nighttime and I was just, you know, walking alone. And by my house, you know, there's this liquor store and there's this grocery store, but the liquor store comes before the grocery store and it's, they're, they're both like right next to each other. As I was walking by this liquor store, I see this man. But the thing is with the man, I saw this man eat something. But the same moment that he ate it out, that was the same exact moment that he spit it out, or I believe he threw it up. And the moment that that happened, I remember me walking up to him and telling me what the Lord had told me, which I know could possibly symbolize, you know, warn his people about, you know, these strange meats, you know. After that, all of a sudden the dream flipped. Now, after that, I was at an old friend's house. And I remember I was over his house for dinner and his mom, you know, she was whipping up some food. Now, I ain't gonna lie. In real life, his mom really be throwing down. So I, I, I was ready. But as I was there, I remember telling his mom about, you know, about the sushi. And at that same moment, I told her about the sushi. She gave me like this snare look. It was like this very evil looking look like she was angry that I told or exposed it. Or maybe in a sense, like as if she didn't believe any word that I was telling her. Then after that, all I, that's all, really all I can remember about the dream. I believe the dream ended after that. But y'all, I definitely want to come up on here because I feel like this is a warning from the Lord. But I also believe that this is a warning from the Lord, you know, concerning me as well. Because to be honest, I love food. And the Lord knows that many of us love food. But we are coming to a point of time where we have to stop just intaking anything. We're really getting to a point of time where we just can't be filling our temples up with anything. Whether it be the things we listen to, whether it be things we watch, whether it be, really whether it be the things we eat as well. And before I could really get this video out um, and get this word out, I just kept hearing food sacrifice to idols. Even Paul talks about food being sacrificed to idols. I recommend a lot of y'all to go read 1 Corinthians chapter 8. So, yeah, I don't know about y'all either, but I remember about a couple of months ago, maybe a month ago, maybe I think it was about a couple months ago, though. Lord was starting to tell me to like, you know, start praying over every single item in the grocery store that I buy before I officially buy it. Because I'm telling y'all, these companies are putting things in our food that are not edible. A lot of these companies that we eat from, whether it be snacks, meat, they're putting many things in y'all meats and in y'all foods that if y'all was to find out, automatically a lot of y'all would go vegetarian. Automatically a lot of y'all would go vegan. A lot of these food items, a lot of these things are being sacrificed to idols. I know a lot of y'all probably been to like Chinese restaurants or you know Japanese restaurants or any like other, you know, cultural restaurants. But right when y'all walk into the restaurants, y'all be seeing Buddha and there'll be a whole bunch of, you know, idols all around Buddha. You really have to start praying for discernment because a lot of us, when it comes to this food, whether it be restaurants or grocery stores, a lot of us don't realize that we are coming into agreement with rituals. I know a lot of y'all keyboard warriors probably going to come up on here like, oh, bro, it's not even that serious. It's not even that serious. Bro, everything down to the stuff that you eat, down to the stuff that you wear, everything is spiritual. Like, everything is spiritual. And many people don't want to face the facts because so many people are already, you know, stuck in the knowledge that they already, you know, have been learning. A lot of people don't want to grow. A lot of people don't want to... um learn about new things a lot of people don't want to know the truth about things because they're stuck and they're comfortable and they're complacent on what they already know y'all have to find it really sus how places like burger king and mcdonald's are selling 50 cent burgers like wendy's as well and i also think i heard like wingstop was selling like 70 cent wings or something like that is it's sus 
Like, what could they possibly be putting in this food? What could they possibly be doing to this food before they, you know, you know, they sell it to the consumer? A lot of these companies, they don't have your best interests at heart. A lot of them are trying to kill us with this food. A lot of these companies are, are trying to further us and bring us down spiritually with these foods that we partake in. And not even to mention that there is lab grown meat out there. Like, what in the world is a bunch of scientists doing growing our meat for us? Like, we have to start thinking about these things. Because I know definitely for me, me eating a lot of food from different restaurants, door dashing, everything, like, and not even exercising wisdom when buying and stuff. I was starting to become sluggish. I wasn't reading my word like that. I was doing a lot of, like, I was just very, very down spiritually. And trust me, I know a lot of y'all probably been eating this food. A lot of y'all probably been depressed. A lot of y'all probably been in y'all heads. A lot of y'all been going through a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure. And that's because they're doing stuff to the food. I was going to get into a more bigger topic, but the Lord was just telling me just to, you know, meet everybody where they at right now. Because not a lot of people are ready for the information that I want to really put out. But y'all need to start praying to y'all foods and y'all go to these grocery stores. Y'all need to start exercising wisdom and having discernment on what God wants you to buy and what God doesn't want you to buy. What God wants you to partake in your temple and what he doesn't want you to partake in your temple. Because like I say, even down from the clothes we wear and the food that we eat, the stuff that we watch, we are coming into agreement with rituals. A lot of y'all don't even know when y'all go to these, um, you know, these uh, family owned restaurants. A lot of you guys don't know what idols and what, you know, lowercase G's gods that they were praying to before they made their meals. A lot of y'all don't know what they're putting into your food before y'all even eat it. And this is simply just not to scare anybody, but this is just simply just to make people aware. Pray to God and ask the sermon, like I said, before y'all eat this stuff. Start eating more vegetables, start eating more fruits, and I'm talking to myself as well. Even if you have, like, your own, like, home, you know, start making, you know, start, you know, growing your own garden. Start growing your own stuff. Because a lot of the stuff that we're eating, a lot of stuff we're partaking in, we literally do not know what we're putting in our bodies. And for many, it is killing them slowly. Be wise in this hour, y'all. God bless.